We continue on, yes, remembering Yogi Berra, the greatness of the player. And as a player, you look at the RBI leaders, catchers all time, tops on the list. Yogi with 1,430. So we go from one catching great to another as Tony Pena joins us now. Tony joining us from Toronto. And Tony, want to get your thoughts on the day. You've spent a lot of time around Yogi. What are you thinking right now? There are some sad thoughts, obviously, but some great ones as well. Well, it's no question, you know, it's a very, very sad day for not only for myself, but also for our organization, also for United States, and also for baseball. Uh, we will remember Yogi not only in the baseball side. We will remember Yogi for the great American who served to, for, to this country, uh, one of the best catchers in baseball, and baseball have lost one of the best icons in this game right now. Uh, my condolences to his family, and I have the time to spend time with Yogi for 10 years, and uh, what a pleasure. I think uh, I was so happy to be around him, uh, the big smile in his face, all the great story that he was able to to, to explain with us. Uh, he was unbelievable. Uh, the baseball had come from a long, long way since he played to where we are right now. And Jogi was able to see all the change in the game. And uh, I tell you what, we have lost a great human being, a great human, a great, great players, a great players, and also a great friend. Tony, when you were a kid growing up in the Dominican Republic trying to get to the major leagues, when do you first remember hearing about Yogi Berra and then what was it like when you finally got the chance to meet him? I tell you what, uh, growing up, you know, everybody was talking about Yogi. Uh, I didn't have the chance to meet Yogi Berra, not until he was manager the Houston Astro. And uh, there was the time that I spent time with Yogi for the first time. I played with Dell, uh, with the Pirates organization, uh, and when I got to meet Yogi, there was like a little kid with a me smiling in the face. Because we have, uh, I was able to hear so many things, great things about Yogi. Great saying, the way he used to say, the game is not over in this world. Uh, 27 hours, don't give up. And uh, all the time, whenever I got to meet him, there was a great, man, a great man, uh, moment. Yeah, Tony, David Cohn here. You know, and, I, and you're my contemporary. I consider you, if not the best defensive catcher, one of the top few defensive catchers I ever saw play the game. And Yogi, obviously, more known for his offense. But they talk about Yogi becoming a better defender, working with Bill Dickey. And I was wondering, you know, all those years you spent with Yogi on the def defensive side, you know, I know a lot of it was, was stories, and Yogi was such a great personality. But anything about, uh, technically speaking, the catching position, considering that you were so great, you know, behind the plate as a defender, that, that uh, maybe a story or two or something that Yogi told you that kind of stood out to you? Well, when I came to this organization as a catching instructor, I used to have uh, Yogi next to me. And I used to ask Yogi a lot of questions because uh, uh, it doesn't matter how great you are or how great you was when you play the game, you still have to pick some of the knowledge of the other people. And uh, I remember asking a Yogi question about uh, catching, and he just said, see, you guy, you you crying every single time. You never you never catch uh, with those type of gloves that I used to catch. Right now, you catch every ball with one hand, and uh, at that time, I had to catch the ball almost with two hands, and everybody crying. And uh, all those moments that, that, that we spent together in this organization, uh, tried um, myself tried to pick his brain uh, that was unbelievable there was a lot of great moments that we spent in the in, in the clubhouse uh, jogging tell us a story about different culture and things like that the way he the way he learned how to catch he he even said once I was a great hitter 
but I was a real bad catcher. But I became, I wanted to be the best, and I became one of the best because I worked hard every single day. And right now, uh, I wish, I remember that, that he said, I wish that some of the catchers right now work as hard that I did to become what I was once. It's one of the hallmarks of Yogi Berra, the hard work that he put into becoming who he became. Tony, we know you have a ball game to prepare for. We thank you for joining us. Always good to spend time with you. Thank you.